Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a very tasty and healthy ragi biscuit cookies which is so very easy to make at home and you can enjoy it as a guilt free evening snack. I actually got this idea from Vaishali Potadar. I hope I pronounced your name correct Vaishali. A couple of days back I had shared the Arta Naan Cuts recipe and Vaishali had made the recipe and on Instagram she sent a message that she's going to try it with ragi and she also sent me some pictures of the ragi biscuit cookies which she made and I'm so happy that she took that extra effort to do this and also to send me pictures and the recipe and the feedback and I feel I'm truly blessed so very much overwhelmed by the love and support you guys show me and happy that we as a community has grown together moving on to a healthy lifestyle I'm truly blessed for the love and affection you guys are showing me and I hope you will continue to do so so Vaishali a big thank you and lots of hugs and love from me so without wasting much time let's get started with the recipe first i'm lightly roasting one cup of ragi flour so for that i'm adding it into a pan and i'm just lightly roasting it and make sure that you stir the ragi flour on and off we don't want it to get burned so you need to move the ragi flour so just keep on stirring now what this helps is it will help to make the uh, biscuit or cookies uh, crispy Okay, now the ragi has started to heat up a little. So I'm just going to turn off the flame. And now I'm going to transfer this to a plate. Okay, while the ragi flour is cooling down, let's get the other ingredients ready. Now to make the whole mixing process a lot easier, I'm using my food processor. However, you can do this with your hand or a whisk or even with an egg beater. Now into my food processor, I'm adding in half cup whole wheat flour. One third cup cocoa powder. I like the flavor of chocolate more in this cookie so that's the reason why I added one third cup of cocoa powder. If you don't like too much of chocolate flavor you can reduce to one fourth cup and add two tablespoon of extra ragi flour or wheat flour if you are using one fourth cup of cocoa powder. Half of the roasted and cooled ragi flour. Half cup melted desi ghee. Add in half cup jaggery powder. Now if you want more sweetness, you can add in an extra 2 to 3 tablespoon of jaggery powder. And now I am going to pulse this. Now add in the other half of the ragi flour. Again pulse it. Now with a spoon lightly mix this up. I forgot to add in baking powder so I am adding in 3 4 teaspoon baking powder. And for a nice flavor I am adding in few drops of vanilla essence. And now I am going to pulse all this once more. I'm just checking and seeing whether the dough rolls into a round dough. So the dough looks perfect. Now I'm going to transfer this to a bowl. And now I'm just lightly mixing this up. So the dough has come out perfect and as you can see you can roll the dough into a small ball. Now place a butter paper onto a baking tray and make a small lemon sized dough out of this cookie dough and place it on the butter paper and at this point I have preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius you can also make this cookies without an oven you can use a tawa or a pan to make these cookies if you don't have an oven I have already shared some no oven cake recipes where I am using the tawa and in one recipe I am using the cooker to bake the cakes you can also follow the same method to make these cookies if you want an oven free cookie recipe so 
Now dip a fork in some ragi flour or wheat flour and just press the cookies with the fork. Make sure you dip the fork in ragi flour or wheat flour otherwise when you press it down the fork will stick to the cookie. So now my cookies are ready to be baked. I'm going to bake this for about 18 to 20 minutes in the preheated oven and I got 16 cookies with this recipe. Okay now the cookies are baked and I'm going to allow this to cool down and then I'm going to store this in an airtight glass container. This ragi cookie is a guilt free indulgence and is a perfect diabetic friendly tea time snack. And now the cookies will look a little undercooked but when they cool down they will be perfect. I just had one cookie and it was so crunchy and tasty. If you want more sweetness you can add in a couple of tablespoons of extra jaggery powder. But I feel the sweetness is of the right consistency. So let me just show you one cookie. It has come out perfectly. So guys do try this healthy raggy biscuit cookie recipe and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.